the ls command which lists the files and folders in the current directory is one of the most used commands in Kali Linux. Remember, if you ever get lost and want to know where you are, just use the pwd command to find out. Also, you can look here at the prompt and we can see that the current directory is designated with a tilde sign which means that we're currently in the home directory of the user Gus. Now, if I run the ls command without any parameters, it simply lists the items in the current directory with no further information. The terminal window shows folders in blue and files in a green-like color. But sometimes you need more information. Now, if you run the ls command with the tag l option, it will display a list with much more information. Let us try to decipher what each line means. The first column displays the file or the directory's permission. Permissions are represented by a series of letters and symbols, where D stands for the directory, R stands for read permission, W stands for write permission, and X stands for execute permission. We will talk more about this in the future lessons. Next, is a number of hard links pointing to the file or directory. The third column displays the username of the file or directory's owner. The following one displays the name of the group that owns the file or directory. After that, we see the file or directory size in bytes. Next, this column shows the date and time the file or directory was last modified. Finally, this column displays the file or directory name. The tag A is another exciting option that can be added to the tag L option. Using the ls command with the tag LA, will display the details we previously saw, as well as the hidden files due to the tag A option. Take note that the names of hidden files begin with a dot at the beginning. Here you go, folks. From now on, you can list files and folders in Kali Linux like a pro.